This workout is called Mobility Moves. And the name hopefully gives you a little bit of an indication of what we're going to be up to. We're going to be having a combination of mobility portions mixed with strength cardio portions. All right? So the mobility is going to be lower key, but it's going to prep us for the bigger movement portions that we're going to be doing. There's going to be two parts to the workout. In the first half, we're going to have the mobility followed by the quicker movement. And we're going to have a pair. So one particular mobility, one particular movement, and then we're going to repeat it, get a little rest, and go to the next pair. We've got four pairs that we're going to go through. Once we're done those four pairs, you're going to get just a little bit of a longer rest, and then we're going to return to the movements again, but get rid of the mobility. All right? Hopefully in that first half of the workout, you really got your body prepped, and in the second half of the workout, we're going to work a little bit harder, we're going to get our heart rate up a little bit higher, and we're going to finish the workout with a bang. So, let's get to our warm-up. Our warm-up is going to be a little bit shorter because we're going to have the mobility portion built in to the workout as well. Okay? So, let's start moving our space. Get nice and loose. Maybe a light jog on the spot. Maybe bring up your knees a little bit higher. A little bit of a skip. Something low-key just to start getting some movement, getting our heart rate up. Get that little jog. Let's switch into a step out jack or a seal jack. Just a variety of movements. Getting ourselves moving all of our limbs from head to toe. Good, let's get a little shuffle here. Quick feet, getting that arm movement. Good, all right. Let's do a toe touch to deep squat. So reaching down for your toes, it's okay if you can't touch them, just reach towards them. Coming down, proud chest, heels to the ground, push those knees out, come back up, move a little bit, back down. Even though there's the mobility built into the, war to the workout, to be honest, I like still going through a decent warm up just to get into the habit of doing the warm up and getting familiar with the movements. Back down, we'll do it one more time. Pushing those knees out, chest proud, feet flat, and up. Good. Let's set up into a split squat. Bring ourselves up and down. If you want to challenge the movement a bit, hands behind your head, hands overhead just to challenge that balance. You can get into a reverse lunge if you want. Okay. I'm going to switch to the other side, keeping that knee under my hip, ankle under my knee or a bit behind, up and down in that split squat. Good. We're stepping. Awesome. There. Nice amount of movement. This next portion to our warm-up, we're actually going to be using in the workout. It's going to be in our first mobility moves pairing. So let's set up. Into our push-up hold, hands under our shoulders, fingers spread out, feet step back. From here, take a step forward with one of your feet, step it outside of your hand. You can drop your knee if you wish, or keep that leg up and lock that knee. We're going to open up, reach to the ceiling, come down, switch, other foot, drop the knee, up back down. Now that's as much as we're going to do in the actual workout. For us, we're going to pop in a little downward dog there as well. Step, reach, step, reach. Okay? And then we'll pop in the little downward dog just because I like to add that in when I'm doing it in my warm-up. And back. Drop your knees. Okay. We did that downward dog, but in the workout, we're actually going to be doing an inchworm, which will tackle a lot, a lot of what we do with that downward dog. So why don't we get up and just do an inchworm as well. So feet hip width apart. You can reach to the ceiling or just go from here. You're going to walk your hands down your legs and then walk out into that push-up hold, nice and solid, 
and then walk yourself slowly back up. Now, for those of you who have tighter hamstrings, whoo, you're gonna feel it. So that's okay. Walk your hands down, and when you get to a point where you can't touch the ground, then bend your knees a bit, and try to keep your legs as straight as you can as you walk out into that push-up hold. Let's do that again. Again, if you need to bend your knees a bit, you can do that. Come up, bend your knees if you need. Otherwise, walk down, walk out. This is the inchworm, or the full walk out. Okay, the third one we're gonna do is the adductor split, adductor rock. It's also called a goalie stretch. So set up into that bear crawl position, that tabletop position, knees under your hips, hands under your shoulders. You're gonna step the one leg out, and then from here, rock back. Keep your chest proud, push your hips back, coming forward. Hips back, and then coming forward. If you wanna make it a bit more challenging, what you can do is start over to the side a little bit more, get your knees apart a bit further, and then step out the one leg, and you're gonna feel that stretch a little bit more, okay? and hips back. The big thing here is you want to rock back as far as you can. Come up. Rock back as far as you can. Come up. Okay? So that's the adductor rock. Let's make sure we get on the other side though. Let's not forget about that. Here, hands on the shoulders, push back. We don't want to round our back. That ends up having us cheat the movement a bit. Rock back, out, rock back, out. Nicely done. So that's going to be in the third pairing. In the last pairing, we're going to do a step through bridge. Now this is going to be the most challenging of all four of the mobility portions. So watch carefully. You're going to start in a tabletop position. If you want it a bit tougher, you can start in a hovering tabletop position. You're going to step your leg through, reach up with your arm and bridge up. Come down, through. On the other side, I'm going to step through. Notice this hand. If you need to pivot it, pivot it. Whatever way you need to go so that the wrist feels okay. I'm going to step through. Now I'm going to bridge and reach up. I'm pressing into this hand, reaching up. So I get a bit of that rotation through my mid upper back. And I'm getting that extension through my hips. Okay? And I bring the leg back through, back to tabletop. That's gonna be the trickiest one. Some of you may feel that in your shoulders a lot. So if that's a bit much for you, you can go into this position instead. Here, hips up, and then down. And that might feel a little bit more controlled than doing the step through bridge, okay? So those are our four mobility movements. Each of them is gonna be paired with the movement, okay? Get a quick sip. I'm going to show you the second part of our first pairing, and then we're going to rock here. So, that's spider lunge. Here, lunge. Knee down or knee up, and reach. Switch, lunge, reach. Okay, again, knee down or knee up. We're going to do that for 30 seconds. Switching sides, don't rush it. That's going to get paired with a pendulum lunge. So start in the middle of your mat. You're gonna lunge back, lunge forward. Lunge back, lunge forward. Try to keep this knee under this hip, okay? That's level one. If lunging forward is too hard on your knee, just stick with reverse lunge, all right? When it gets to our second time through this, I'm gonna spice it up with a bit more of a challenging variation. Stick with one side the whole time. Okay, we're starting in 10 seconds. Make sure the space is clear. Get ready for our first pairing. Okay? We're starting a bit low key here, but that's okay. Just about getting quality movement. So set up. Here we go. Step. Open up. Reach to the ceiling. Pause there. Hand down. You should feel that stretch here through this inside of this hip on the outside of this one. Switch. Reach up. Feeling a stretch here on the front of this hip. Switch, we should be able to get one more time each side. Open up, and then switch. Good, we're going right to our pendulum lunge. Step back, step forward, here we go. Step back, step forward. 
Step back, control it. Step forward. Make sure whatever foot is in front, the heel stays on the ground. We're sticking with the one side. One side. This is where we start feeling that work a little bit more. And then we get a little bit of a break, a little bit of a change of pace when we go into our mobility portion. Here we go. Here we go. Good. Back to the floor. Woo, maybe you felt that. Step. Reach for the ceiling. Switch. Reach for the ceiling. Good, let's get that one more time each side. Reach, open up that chest. Other side. Open up that chest. Bring yourselves back up. Now it's the other side. Getting into that pendulum lunge. Woo. Here we go. Watch out for the edge of your mat. Control the landing. Control the landing. Nice job. Each time, control that landing. The leg that's really going to feel it is the leg that's fixed to the ground. Five more seconds. It's doing most of the work. Okay, that's the first one. Shake it out, simple as that. Get a sip. The next pairing is going to be that inchworm. Starting from standing, walking down, walking forward, pause, coming back up. Linger here for a moment as you get the stretch. We're going to pair that with the front kick. One foot in front, one foot behind, kick, and back. All right, let's start with the inchworm. Walk down our legs, linger here, get the stretch, pause in that strong push-up hold, get your heels down. Bend your knees if you need to. Back down. We'll probably get three of these in. Feel that stretch in your hamstrings. One more. When you get up, we're going to go right into those kicks. Good. Get your left foot in front, right leg behind. Knee up and kick. Knee up, kick out. That inchworm helped us with our hamstrings. Stretching them out a bit. Now we're doing some kicks, which requires some hamstring flexibility. Don't worry about kicking high. Maybe you're kicking here right now. And then progressively get a little bit higher. I don't know how high you can kick. Last kick. Good. Let's inchworm it. Next time we do kicks, we're going to do the other side. Boom. Heels down, linger, up, good. If you need to bend those knees, bend them just a little bit. Linger here, up, last one. Getting that nice stretch through those hamstrings. Okay, get ready to kick. Awesome, now left leg behind, right leg in front. Kick, down. Keep your hands up, kick. Down. Maybe you've got something hanging on the wall in front of you. You can use that as your target. Knee up and then kick it out and back down. Nice job. What music do you have playing in the background right now? I've got nothing. So you can hear me. But what do you have? Woo! I hope you've got something playing. Maybe it's Eye of the Tiger. Got a little Rocky soundtrack. Anybody feeling that? I don't know. Okay. Our next pairing. Woo, we're getting those done fast. Is our adductor rocks. So these ones, that goalie stretch. And when we stand up, we're going to make sure that same foot that was extended, the same leg that was extended stays there. And we're going to push our hips back and reach. Hips back, bend our knee a bit. Reach, and then come up. Okay, here, up. Let's go to our adductor rocks. Here we go. Hands under shoulders, knee under hips. Leg out. Whew. Remember that back stays straight. Proud chest. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. 
exhale. That's halfway. Let's stick to this one side. Here we go. Hang out here for a moment. Let's hang out here for the last five seconds. Woo! Good stretch. Bring yourself up. This leg stays there. Hips back. Hips back. Bend your knee a bit. I want you to reach. Come up. Reach. Come up. If that's a bit tough, then just here. Leave the foot there. Reach. Come up. Or you do that step. Get that step. Get that step. Pause there. Push away. Pause here. Push away. Almost there. Okay. Back down to the ground. Set up. Knees under hips. Hands under. Shoulders. Leg out. Hips back. You want to try to keep those hips squared. Keep them squared. Push your hips back. Inhale as I come out of it. Hips squared. Inhale. Exhale. Now your heart rate's not going to be super high right now. That's okay. We don't need a super high heart rate every time. Bring yourself up. Here. Up. Get that little bit of hips back. Knee bent a bit. And then push away. There we go. I like to get even bigger arms involved. Arm reaches. Comes up. Reaches. Comes up. Here we go. Halfway through that side. I inhale as I step out. Exhale as I come up. That's it. There we go. Awesome. We're down to our last pairing. All right. That's that step through bridge from here. Step, reach, changing sides each time. Or hips up, stretching shoulders. We're going to pair that with the breaker. Breaker is here. Slip that leg through, back. Slip that leg through, back. Okay, let's go to the bridge. Reach up, push your hips up. You might feel how tight your hips are when you do this. Reach up, and hips up. I know that one of my hips feels tighter than the other, for sure. One more. Okay, here we go. Slide that leg out, back in. Slide it, back in. Or don't let it touch the ground. Don't let it touch the ground. One foot comes up, reach here. Reach, go at the speed that works for you. Halfway. I try to pull this elbow back as I kick the leg through. Back. Back. Good. Back to that mobility. Take breath. Reach up. Don't rush through this part. Knees can be down to start if you need. Reach up. Reach up. Last one. Good breakers. Slide if you need to slide. Slide if you need to slide. Or foot off the ground. Foot off the ground. I'm kicking my couch. Find the balance. Find the balance. Kick in. Find the balance. Kick in. Almost there. We get a longer break here. Ah, break. Woo! That's a whole minute we get now. Oh, man. Catches up to you. So, how did that first half go? I hope it went well. I hope that mobility between those movements, starting the movement, and then going through, I hope that really helps you feel better going into doing those movement portions, the reps. 
Now we're going to get rid of the mobility portion. All right. We're also going to try to speed it up a little bit. Only speed it up if you're feeling confident with the movements. Okay, the first movement that we're going to be doing is the pendulum lunge. Back, forward. If you want to make it tougher, you can do this. Back, hop forward, foot off the ground, hop back. Hop forward, hop back. Here we go. Pendulum lunges. Sticking with one side the whole time. One side. We're going to do this for three rounds. That means on the third round, you got it. We're going to alternate sides or switch sides halfway through. For now, though, we're going to stick with one side. I'm adding in those hops to the pendulum lunge. Ah. Woo. Okay, now to the other side. Get ready for it. Back. Forward, back, forward, back, there we go. Now I'm going to add the hops. Almost there. Keep that with that pace. Okay, other side, here we go. Ah, the work just keeps going. And then we get a little rest. Work keeps going, get a little rest. Switch sides. Stay in control. Lots of movement going down here. Stay in control. Oh, shake it out. That was 90 seconds continuous work. We got 30 seconds here to just loosen up. Okay, we're moving on to the second movement, the front kicks. Remember, one foot behind, one foot in front, bring your knee up, kick out in and back. All right, so start with whichever leg you want in front, other leg behind, Kick. Don't worry about going high. Challenge the flexibility a bit. Challenge your balance. Here we go. Out in. I'm going to try to go a little quicker. A little quicker. Here we go. Nice. If kicking out doesn't work for you, do a knee. Grab. Knee. Knee. Or stick with that kick. we got a couple more kicks left in us. You want to keep the rhythm that you started with. Last kick. Switch sides. Here we go. Or knees. Get that little lean back. And kick it out or thrust out that knee. You're doing so good. It's tough because there's less rest now. You don't get that mobility portion to rest it out. 10 seconds on this side, and we've got 30 seconds left. You can do it. You can do it. Last kick. Good switch this time. We're going to kick, put it down, step back. Kick, step back. Kick. However you can go, switching legs each time. Kick, back. Kick. If you just need to be here, just be here. That's all good. But keep the kicks. Going. Maybe I'm kicking low. Kicking medium. Kicking high. Kicking high. Oh my gosh. Did we just speed things up quite a bit? Okay. We're going to our next movement in about 20 seconds. That lateral reach. So watch my hips. I step out. My hips go back as I bend my knee. It's a hinge. Reach down. Don't reach so that your back rounds though. Just with that reach down and forward, come up. Down and forward, come up. Okay, get ready for it. In five seconds. My right foot's going to stay glued to the ground. Left moving. Here we go. Here we go. Push up. Push up. Push 
away, push away. Pushing in both situations. Pushing to get to that spot, pushing to return. Come on now. You got 10 seconds left. Here, push your hips back as well. There's three points of pushing. Pushing away, pushing your hips back, and pushing to get back to where we started. Last one. Switch sides. Here we go. It was low key to start off. Now we pump it up a little bit. Push. There. Big push. Push away. That's it. Keeping our back straight. Don't worry if you're not reaching as low as me. Maybe you're just reaching to your knee. But still push that hip back. Chest flat. Or sorry, chest uh, back straight. Chest down. Come up. Okay. We're going to go back to the first side. And we're going to switch halfway. I'll give you a heads up while we're switching. Woo! A lot of work happening here. And switch. You got 15 seconds. You can do it. Slow down if you need to. Last one. Oh. Holy moly. That's some tough stuff. Okay. We're going to the last one. The breakers. These ones are tough in on themselves, okay? They're very challenging. So, we're gonna break up the breakers. We're gonna do breakers, then we're gonna go down to our back, we're gonna do glute bridges, and then we're gonna do breakers again. If you wanna do three rounds of breakers, you may do it. I'm gonna break it up for some of you though. Here, okay, here we go. Through, kick, pull that elbow back. Kicking my sofa right now. Halfway through this interval. You can do it. If you need to slide that foot on the ground, slide it on the ground. Push your hips through, okay? That's all good. Okay, let's go to glute bridges. If you wanna do breakers, keep doing breakers. Drive those heels in, squeeze those glutes, hips up. Take this opportunity to breathe. Halfway through this one. Good, let's hold it. Let's hold it there. Squeeze those glutes nice and tight up front. Don't move. Hold it. Woo, get ready for breakers. Hips down. Back to breaker position. Take a moment, slide it, slide it, or get that foot up off the ground. Boom, kick out. Almost there. Ten seconds. Shake it out a little bit. Oh man. That was some good movement. We've got about 30 more seconds of this rest and we're gonna cap it off here. We're gonna cap it off with those mobility movements we started out with. So we paired mobility and a bigger movement. Then we stuck with just the movements. Now we're gonna bring it back to the mobility to finish off, to give you a great cool down to this workout, okay? And for those of you who are logging this hour for Tech Voc, the Z, the word of the day is mobility, all right? Because that's what today was really the big focus about. Even in those movements challenging our mobility and flexibility. So let's get set. We're going to start with our spider lunge and reach. Set up. You're going to step. Drop that knee if you want. Reach up. 
Switch. Get into that solid push-up hold each time, though, as you switch. Reach, open up that chest. Knee down. Reach. I feel a little bit more of that stretch even with the knee down. Some of you might feel differently. Good. We're going to do it for 30 more seconds. Just to really marinate in these a little bit. Let's hold this one for a little bit. Push those hips down. Forward. Reach up. Hold this one. Good. Let's switch it. We're going to hold it on this side now. Same thing. Push those hips forward and down. Reach up. Open up your chest. Excellent. Okay. Let's get to our inchworm. Standing up. Walking. Take your time here. Take your time. I even might like to just add in a downward dog before I go back to inchworming myself. Remember, bend your knees if you need to, but go to that point where you're still feeling that stretch in your hamstrings. There we go. Adding in that downward dog. Get a little extra calf stretch with that too. Walk up. We're almost there. Not much time left to these inchworms. This is probably my last one coming up here. And we'll go. Oh, to those adductor rocks. Let's bring it down to the ground. Bear crawl position. Stick my leg out. Hips back. So we had that element of faster paced, you could call it higher intensity sections with our movement portions. Okay, our very intentional movement portions. But all in all, this workout was about improving our mobility, just getting in some quality movement, applying that mobility, right? So we connected movements, let's switch sides. We connected movements to those mobility exercises, drills, that took advantage of the mobility that we had been working on, right? Really put it into practice, which is what you want to do. If you just go and roll in your day, it feels good, but it doesn't go that far unless you do some intentional movement with those muscles, with those ranges of motion that those muscles apply to and those joints that work with those muscles. That's really going to make the most out of that rolling. Let's linger here for a moment. All right, so that's kind of what the goal is here. We had that spike in the middle, and now we're bringing it back to this mobility. Let's finish with our last one, which was the step through bridge, okay? Or you can do this bridge here. Hold it for five, down, hold it for five, okay? Whichever way your wrists feel best. I'm gonna go into the step through bridge. But that's really what you want to do. Okay, we're going to hold this for five. Two, one. Here, switch. You want to mobilize and you want to move. And that's why this mobility moves workout is really nice. Okay, it's a good change of pace. Good mix of the low key. High key, high intensity. Good. Take a seat. So, it is up to you if you revisit this workout, how intense or how quickly you want to move through the movement portions of the workout. That's up to you. Again, the goal of those yeah, get your heart rate up a little bit. That for us, get some activity. We're all cooped up in our houses, our apartments, our homes right now, doing our quarantine workouts. But you want to look at those movement portions as applying, right? Applying that mobility 
to movement so you can get the most out of it. So you can feel nice and loose and free when you're walking around your house or maybe you get a chance to go outside and go for a walk and move a bit. I hope you had a great workout. I wish you the best with the rest of your day. Keep moving. Stay healthy. I'll see you at the next workout.